evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ryan Tell, I'm the middle school band director. All right, our next uh, tune uh, is a uh, unique and uh, amazing opportunity that we've had this year. Um, back in, uh, I think it was July or June, I got a text uh, from Mr. Dwight Nelson. He said, what do you think if we commissioned a piece for Jazz One? And I said, that'd be great, let's do it. And then uh, a couple months go by and you know, I, I didn't hear much from Dwight, but then in September he said, hey, we got a piece. And I said, all right, great. Let's do it. So uh, we have a, a, a completely new piece, world premiere, written by uh, Brian uh, Nelson. And I think uh, Mr. Er, Pearson, Mr. Pearson, yes, my bad. Uh, Mr. Nelson, could you come up and introduce uh, Mr. Pearson? Yes, uh, a little hot here. Um, it was my pleasure to uh, to work with the uh, Ken and Evelyn Pinkney uh, Play It Forward program, and which is, provides music opportunities, music funding for our school district, and these kids right here. A lot of the instruments that we have donated or, and fixed up, maybe some of these kids are playing secondary instruments, anybody playing on an instrument that wasn't theirs tonight or in the band? But we try to provide horns for kids if they don't have the opportunity to play. In fact, if you know of anybody in the community that has an instrument they would like to donate, get it up to Todd or get it to our directors and we'll, uh, we'll take care of it and make sure it gets in the hands of kids. But, um, the, this fund also had, provides many scholarship opportunities. In the summertime, they work with seventh grade uh, opportunities for them to go to the Bemidji Band Camp, the scholarship, full scholarship ride for that. They also work with Mr. Peterson in high school going to one of the premier jazz camps in the uh, in the upper Midwest, the Shell Lake Jazz Camp, and some of our students have had the opportunity to take involved, get involved with that. Uh, this this idea just kind of came up uh, as, a, as an idea. I called Patricia Pinkney and said, should we try this? It'd be, it'd be fun to do. It's in commemoration also of uh, Charles Lindbergh's upcoming 100th anniversary of the 1927 flight over the Atlantic. So the, the title of the piece is called The Spirit of Hope, and I'll let Brian explain more about all that. So I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Brian Pearson. Brian and I have been, we've been uh, music colleagues, actually, uh, believe it or not, back in 1972, do the math. Um, Brian was still in high school at St. Cloud. I was in college at St. Cloud State, and we were actually one of the premier polka bands in central Minnesota. We traveled all over. That's how I made my living through college, playing gigs on the weekend. What do we make right now? Whopping $25 a night? $50 on New Year's Eve. So, uh, but it got me through and uh, also worked, I've been working recently with Brian uh, on some way we play, both play trumpet and uh, we bounced together some of the tribute bands in the St. Cloud area, bumped into a couple of Beatles shows, things like that. Uh, but Brian has spent a career of 37 years as, uh, in the, as a band director in the um, New London Spicer School District. And 37 years, that beat me, Brian. Congratulations. And Brian's a, a, just always impressed me as a very talented person. He can do, he plays every instrument. He's got a recording since his uh, retired. He's got a recording studio at his house. He plays all the instruments. He composes jing jingles for commercials. And he's done, I think, 14 jazz compositions and probably many, many more. So it's my distinct honor to, uh, to introduce to you the composer of The Spirit of Hope. And it's premiere tonight was dedicated to the Little Falls High School Band and Mr. Peterson. As Mr. Nelson said, my name is Brian Pearson. My full name is Brian Dale Pearson. And why I might mention that is because after you this performance tonight, we hope you enjoy it because this is a fantastic band and they do a really good job. Uh, and you might want to hear this selection again. And you can go on YouTube and type in The Spirit of Hope and Brian Dale Pearson. And you can listen to it for free on YouTube. You'll find a picture of uh, Charles Lindbergh with the Spirit of St. Louis playing right there. And uh, 
that would be kind of fun to do. So when Mr. Nelson said, hey, well, let's, let's work on a, a piece for Little Falls High School, and uh, not a day goes by where we don't uh, rub elbows with some of the graduates from Little Falls that are in the New London Spicer area where we live that play in different groups that I'm in, and so your legacy lives on. Uh, but I remember when um, Jeff Engholm, a graduate from Little Falls, I was teaching at St. John's Prep one day a week there, and, and I told him about this, uh, this opportunity to write a song for Little Falls, and I said, I'm waiting for some inspiration, I just have one thing that I want to include, and I'm going to have the trombone show you. It is the sound of Charles Lindbergh's playing. So let's have them stand up. Are you ready? This is called Flutter Tongue, and, it, and you let me know if you think it sounds like a plane. What do you think? That's, that's basically all we have so far. No, we have a whole bunch of other stuff. But, do you remember when you were young and you used to do goggles? Can I see everybody with both hands? I can't do it with both hands. And like you're making an okay sign and then flip it around, put it on your, on your head. Those are your safety goggles. Whenever you hear the trombones play the airplane theme, and it's going to be about five times during the song, you need to put on your safety goggles. Let's try that trombone stand up one more time. Here we go, audience. One, two, three, go. Okay. I see some of you are having difficulty. If you just want to do binoculars, that's fine. Or if you want to do something like this, that's fine too. Um, okay, so that's going to happen several times. In the middle, there's going to be a section where you get to sing. If you look on the back of your, your program, you can see the words. Can the people see the words in the middle? Okay. Oh, there they are. Thank you. And we have Kamala is going to sing it for you the first time through. And then you're going to show it. I love your attitude back there, the people that are cheering for everything. <laughs> then you're going to join Kamala in singing that. Hey, but we don't even know that. Plus, I'm kind of tired already from doing the goggle thing about three times before we get there. All right, so, uh, but you don't have to do the goggles while you're singing. Try to just concentrate on one thing at a time. <laughs> at the very end, when our plane safely lands and it does, we want thunderous applause. Do we need to, do we need to practice that? Okay, let's hear thunderous applause from Plain Lands. If it is thunderous enough that Mr. Peterson thinks that they're going to add a little tag at the end, a little extra credit, if you will, a little encore, if you will, um, and that is going to be the theme, I'll Fly Away, if you know the song, I'll Fly Away. That's just plain good, isn't it? Plain. Okay, that's just for some of the people that get that. Then, so make sure that your seatbelts are fastened, your trays are in the upright position, all your belongings are under the seat in front of you, and please remain seated until the song comes to a complete stop. Please enjoy our first performance of The Spirit of Hope.